Friday morning and I am finished at the auction here. We've got some fresh local strawberries, some more down there. Got some plants here in the back seat and then the back of the truck is full. I am headed south to the hardware store to unload everything and then I guess I'm uh, going to the field to uh, spray my corn that I planted yesterday. does our government have to be involved in every aspect of our life? So I had the radio on and I just heard a news blurb that the state of Virginia is going to make it illegal to have cats declawed. I guess it was already that way in Maryland. I wasn't aware of that. I don't have cats, but I assume the reason for that is claws are a cat's defense mechanism. But if you've got a cat that is constantly inside and you never let it outside, then why shouldn't I be able to have it declawed? Anyway, in the state of Virginia, that goes into effect, I think, this year sometime. It will be a $500 fine, I think, for any vet that is caught declawing cats. But no, cats, they can kill. They can harm people with their claws. But nope, we can't remove them. I wonder what happens if uh, a cat is convicted of hurting or killing someone or sending someone to the hospital because of their claws. Are they then put on a, on a list that they're a bad cat? Or then do we have to remove their claws? Oh, my government, golly day, just stay out of my life. I am putting down atrazine, simazine, and glyphosate uh, on this corn that I just planted yesterday. Yes, I know, two of those chemicals are four-letter words to a lot of people, but it does the job. You know, it just works. I am mixing this with uh, some liquid nitrogen. Yeah, another bad word. Uh, but this is what it takes to grow corn. I guess I could explain what each one of those chemicals does. So the atrazine and the simazine is a pre-plant chemical uh, that you got to put down before the corn comes up. And that is going to prevent any weeds or grass from coming up. It doesn't kill anything that is already there. It's just going to prevent the weeds and grass. So we need a little bit of rain on this uh, after we put this chemical down to get it into the soil so it can start activating. And so you'll see uh, weeds and grass start to germinate, but then when they start picking up that chemical with their roots, uh, they're going to die off. And then of course the glyphosate is to kill 
anything that is actively growing now, you know, since I this this up, there's not a whole lot there that is actively growing. There is a little bit, so just as a preventative measure, I'm putting the glyphosate down. And then the uh, nitrogen, the liquid nitrogen, of course, is just fertilizer. Corn needs lots of nitrogen, basically about a pound of nitrogen for every bushel of corn uh, that you want to uh, get. So uh, we're going to put liquid nitrogen down with these chemicals and then we will come back later when corn is uh, between knee high and waist high and uh, put the last shot of nitrogen down on it. So there you go. You can be a farmer now or at least you can act like you know a little bit about farming when you're sitting at the bar with your drunk friends and neighbors. Speaking of which, it is Friday night, uh, or Friday evening, it's quarter after four. I'll be done here in time to get to the green door tonight to play Queen of Hearts. Hey, I've been pretty lucky so far. Um, I haven't got all my money back that I've put into it, but that's okay, it's for a good cause. I won the 50-50 jackpot a couple of weeks ago. That was $270 last week. Uh, my name was called to pick from the board to find the Queen of Hearts. I picked a Joker, so I got $100 out of that. All right. All right, Donnie. Number eight. All right. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. My name has been called um, once for a free pizza and a pitcher of beer, or maybe twice. No, I think I've won two pizzas and uh, pitchers of beer. So I, I can't complain. It's, it's a fun time and it's for the benefit of St. Michael's School. I usually buy uh, $40, $40 of tickets uh, every week when I go between the Queen of Hearts and the 55th raffle. I buy $20 worth of Queen of Hearts tickets, $20 worth of the 50-50 raffle tickets. Uh, the night I won the $270, the woman that was selling the tickets, um, she was trying to sell me 10 more dollars worth of the 50-50 tickets. And I said, no, I've already spent my $40 tonight in tickets. No, you got to buy 10 more dollars worth. No, I said, and before I walked away from the table, I said, you know what? You better give me those tickets. They're probably going to be the winning tickets. And sure enough, I think those were the winning tickets, those last $10 worth of tickets I bought. So I was very grateful for her making me buy those tickets. And I haven't seen her there since. I was going to buy her a drink the next week. Some people donate their winnings back to the school. I haven't done that. I have given enough time and money to the school over the years that I'll take the money. But what we have been doing is uh, for the last probably three or four weeks, we have been giving them a $25 gift card from the hardware store to raffle off with their 50-50 raffle. So they first do the 50-50 raffle for that jackpot. And then from those same tickets, they draw more tickets for uh, a gift card from the hardware store and the pizza from the green door and then some drink tokens also donated by the green door. So, you know, I'm, I'm giving that money back in other ways. I don't feel guilty about keeping it. I'm not sure which seat is worse. The virgin that makes me sweat or this worn out one that uh, is squeaking too much. Well, I can't say it's worn out. Uh, I guess it's been road hard. And so it's just squeaking a bunch. Now, if I could combine the virgin with the squeak, wouldn't we have something there? Oh yeah, you didn't hear that from me. Well, I have finished spraying the corn. 
It is 10 minutes to 5, so right on time. There, The rain is supposed to come in after midnight tonight. Um, I don't think it's going to be a whole lot. Maybe a quarter of an inch. 50% uh, chance of rain after midnight. And then drizzle tomorrow morning. Rain likely, the forecast says. But then the next five days, there's a chance of rain almost every day. Anywhere from 30 to 70%. So... Uh, we may be done with field work for the next couple of days, but that's okay. I've uh, I've got some other things I can uh, work on, so eh, no big deal. It's the nature of the beast, or the nature of the business, I guess. Okay, until next time, I'm going to say, see ya! See ya!